Hello everybody, my name- <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another Let's Play of FREAK! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. Blind! That's right. It won't open. Great. <laughs> Alright, so... We got the rum. Which means we can just go to old Zadok. The door's bolted shut. Great. Ah, what the fudge? Holy shit! Yeah, I know. What the crap? <sighs> well, I mean. <laughs> That's a sight for sore eyes, I guess. She hung herself. I don't want to get near her. I'm afraid she's going to pop, like, you know, just move and, like, just all of a sudden move and freak me out. Because I would flip out, viewer, if she did that. Alright, well, there's nothing in there. The door's bolted shut. Oh, well, that's great. I could have just avoided that whole thing altogether. If I had known that. Nothing of interest. Right when I opened that door, a huge wind gust. Like, huge. I'm not gonna lie. Hello, Jack. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New, new, new names spread fast. Sweet. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. That's cool. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. Uh... Yes. <laughs> I, I mean, he's saying everything. Jack is... I swear Jack is stealing all my thunder. And now we have to watch out for this bub again. Maybe. I'm just gonna run for it. I'm... Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that scared me. What the crap is something? You'd better keep your trap shut. I won't tell him anything. Uh oh. There was something on the roof. It was like looking at us. Hey, bub. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Ken Riley says I know him. Alright, that guy is just jacked up, and I don't care. Screw him, he's scary. He's a scary little fella. I don't know where... What? Now I'm getting really paranoid about the freaking ceiling and roofs and fire ladders and crap. <sighs> Let's give old Zadok his... Rum. Rub a dub dub. Thanks for the grub, bub. Here's your stuff. Take it. That's right. Take it. Glark. Why you're uncommonly kind, young fella. <laughs> be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Uh, uh. Seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. 
<laughs> this guy is this guy's funny. Oh cat moving where is all Ten desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that that answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and Thuddy of his father's were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of 46, them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them swarms of them. Look, old man, I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. <laughs> Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy of strangers if we were known what was good for us. Say that. Who did all this? Who did all this? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told his folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. The oaths of all these oaths. The three oaths of Dagon. Yeah. You just ask old Wes about oaths of Dagon. I he take the third oath. Just stand over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. How? Uh. It won't open. Well, I hope that was worth it. I got a key to a freaking poorhouse, which is basically a slum. That's great. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. You're pretty. It's Jack. And is there anyone in Innsmouth who doesn't know my name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. Uh -huh. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange. Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. The Elder Sign. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I love that. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. She said you can use it, and the use was totally capitalized, so I will use it with my use button. <laughs> All right. Well, she's foreshadowing, I'm guess. That's the elder sign. And by the way, Zadok was talking earlier about. Ah. Uh... Once again, that scared the crap out of me. Like literally, these things are. What are you doing, laddie? This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. All right, yeesh. 
Yeah, but Zadok was talking earlier about the th the oaths of Dagon, and he said some about some guy taking the third oath. So, uh, for any of you guys who don't know, I might as well just get it out of the way. The third oath of Dagon is uh, when a man and a fish monster really like each other. Uh, the man, you know, I think you guys get the point. You know, it's just, it's a little bit of, <laughs> I can't explain it, it's so weird. Baby, it's so, whatever. I don't know where to go, where's the freaking poor house? I have an idea, let's look for the poorest part of town, that should help. I mean, I'm not gonna lie when I say that hotel looks pretty ghetto, so... Gilman. These posters are everywhere. I clicked on the door. It won't open. Oh. <laughs> At least he wasn't talking about the posters. It's unlocked. Oh, cool! At the poorhouse. I wasn't. I wasn't half wrong when I said looking for the schlummiest part of the town. Sweet. This has been a pretty uneventful episode. I'm sorry, you guys. But, I have no idea what's going to happen. So, for all we know, the next episode could be crazy fun. Or it could be so miserable. Or it could be just like the same as this one. So, yeah. Just thought I'd get that out there. I mean, so far there hasn't been any combat in the game. I don't, I don't know if there's any combat or not. I mean, I've seen... I, I looked up a review of this, and it has pretty bad reviews. If I see you without fire, I'll report your order. Oh, that's so nothing. Ew. She's so ugly. No. Ew. Hey. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. If you don't like it, just turn around and leave. <laughs> it won't open. It won't open. It won't budge. Oh man, what the freak is that? Do you need any help? What the crap? That's so scary. I have a strange feeling I'm being watched. Uh Oh crap. Look up there. That's so scary. This guy's probably he looks like a leper actually. Like, you know, wrapped up and crap. All right, that's really scary actually. I really hate this place actually. Innsmouth is I wonder if anyone's ever wanted to retire in Innsmouth. I mean, holy crap, this is scary. Ah, oh, great. Oh, hey, there's the window I'm at. Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? Did you see? But we'll die soon enough. What the? Something jumped from there to, to down there where the leper is, and the leper looks like he's okay. But that's not, like, I'm not happy about that. What are you looking at there, old-timer? Nothing. I'm just looking. What are you doing at old Warren's house, young feller? This hole is for the broke and the dying. I'm trying to find Dock Street. It's out back of the house. Everything in Innsmouth is rotten and dying. Windows boarded up, and all sorts of curious barking and crawling around black cellars and attics. How would you like to be living in a town like this, fella? I've been to more welcoming places. I don't think he's been outdoors for years. He isn't going to know anything. Mm. <sighs> this game has a really tense atmosphere. 
This almshouse is home to the old and the destitute. All right. Shut up. Sorry, that's my alarm. Telling me the video is almost done. Her sleep is restless and erratic. Oh great, now you're an expert on watching people sleep. Next time on Let's Play Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth Blind, we're gonna pull an Edward and watch her sleep all night. See you soon.